Help support our coverage through Amazon Prime. Get free music with Prime Music, TV, movies, and documentaries with Prime Video, and free games with Prime Gaming. For this and a whole lot more, go to PlugHitsLive.com slash Prime. I think we're ready then to go ahead and uh, open up uh, the next for our next guest. We're bringing in David. David is from TypeWise. And if David's ready, we can bring him in. Hi, David. Welcome Hi. to our CES coverage. And uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and your company and let us know what you're doing for CES 2021. Sure. Well, hi, I'm David. I'm from uh, Switzerland, and I'm one of the uh, two co-founders of uh, TypeWise. We decode human thoughts, and we do that uh, with a, a smartphone keyboard um, that works on every phone, on an iPhone, an Android device, and basically helps you to make up to five times a fewer typos, and at the same, same time also safeguard your privacy. So is it purely a, a mobile app or does it work on the desktop or what's the, what's the, what's the use case then largely is just for people on mobile? At the moment, it's a, a purely a, a mobile app, um, but the um, underlying um, technology, uh, which is uh, AI powered and which we develop here with a um, leading uh, European um, technology institute, ETH Zurich. Uh, that then also will work on the desktops and in the future also for VR and wearables, basically on all the devices where you have to input information, uh, something we do um, for hours every day, um, but we basically miss out on a lot of productivity uh, because keyboards are slow and uh, in especially mobile phones, cumbersome, and error prone. And that's what we're trying to change. Do you have your phone with you by chance so we could see a little bit how it works? Is that possible? Absolutely. Um, just uh, bear with me. I'm just opening here a, a chat. Um, so I'm trying to There you see. go. This is, uh, um, you should be able to see that. Yeah, um, so it's a completely different keyboard. I got you. I got you now. Yeah, it's, uh, so the, the main... I mean, what you see visually um, is our Honeycomb um, interface. Um, and the uh, difference is that, the, well, the keys are, are um, um, a hexagonal shape. So they're 70% wider um, than the standard keys because the, 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 the keyboard that you're probably using is from the 19th century. So it was developed 150 years ago for typewriters and right. it's made for mobile phones. And how we thought about it is, hey, our fingerprints are round, and so the keys should resemble um, our, 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 our like fingerprints. Um, what we can also do, we have um, we we don't have uh, like a shift key or a backspace, um, but we use gestures. So I can I'm trying if this. Works I know it's hard. Here. It's hard when you're uh, but, trying to uh, do it in reverse. You basically, just swipe here, and it deletes as much text as you want, or you can swipe oh. back and, uh, and the restore text again. Um, you can swipe up on a letter to capitalize. Um, so it's a lot about, hey, how can we make it more intuitive um, with the capabilities of a touch screens? Um, so then what you're finding then based on at least your website is saying that you make 80 percent fewer typos. Now, I'm a typo king, yeah. <laughs> so th this should help me out a lot. So how did you base and how did you get that? Did you know you do studies, have user cases where people are typing and then you did the cross study how did you guys come up mm -hmm. with that number yeah so there is a, a very large typing study um done by a cambridge university and uh, also eth zurich it's um you can find it online i think tape if you search for typing study uni cambridge it will come out where they analyzed uh, the like the behavior of 37 37 000, um, users globally across different keyboards like an iphone keyboard a google keyboard a microsoft keyboard and then we had our users doing that exact same study. And then we compare the data, um, what comes out um, at the end um, when, when, when using each keyboard. And uh, with ours, um, we saw that instead of one, uh, usually on a keyboard, you make one 
like what like every fifth word has a typo mm -hmm. and with type wise and average it's, it's every 20th word and that's how we get this four four x improvement so let me ask you a question then i do an incredible amount of voice to text i just no. uh yeah at this point i'm really tired of you know because because you know just i'm just doing a lot of voice to text but voice to text I find Android is better than, believe it or not, Apple products from doing voice to text. I just from you know a number of years using the products, but there's always typos and it gets a word wrong. So can I use this in conjunction to you make it easier? Because oftentimes I'm hunting and pecking and trying to get to the word where I'm trying to you know edit it or capitalize it or remove a comma or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Does the keyboard itself then also would it help me if I'm using voice to text primarily and editing the message before it goes out? Yeah, so what it does now, um, it's it's going to be a bit hard for me, but um, you can press one of these space keys mm -hmm. and then um, basically you can just, you can basically by pressing the, the space key, you can sure. think, again do that gesture movement and just move the cursor wherever you want to go and then do the edit and then go back. So right now it, go ahead. It, it, it already helps you to do these edits faster. Um, what we're working on um, as a uh, as a future step is to integrate our autocorrect technology um, with voice. So then the keyboard knows how right. you spell certain words when you type them, and it can then aid the voice mm -hmm. text like engine to type as you would be typing. Right. And so this is really then the next step for us to 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 add this this uh, voice interface um, to the keyboard and really get the best of both worlds together. So is it for Android and iOS or both, do you have it yeah. for both for both? Yeah, 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 yeah. And is, I'm assuming then just basically looking at your typewise dot app. That's your website. Yeah, that's true. What is the is, is what is the app cost? So it's uh, free. Um, it's available in 40 languages, um, no wow. advertising, nothing. Um, there is a premium version as an in-app purchase. And um, the, the main thing, what it does is if you type in multiple languages at the same time, so let's say you're using English at work, uh, Spanish at home, for example, then with the premium version, you can add both languages at the same time and the keyboard will just detect which one you're using and it will automatically switch um, between them. But uh, that's like a premium feature and it's uh, optional um, if if you would like to have that. Awesome, well, you can't beat free folks to try it out. And I know many of you are trying different keyboards from time to time. It's e And if you haven't swapped a keyboard on your mobile phone before, this is a good opportunity to do that for the first time to try an alternate keyboard. I, I think, you know, what, what we may find um, is that I've run into people all the time, David, that didn't know they could actually change the keyboard on their mobile yeah. device. Yeah. That's, uh, that's I think our our biggest, or one of our biggest challenges is to get the word out there that, hey, um, like you have the option of, of, uh, of changing it and there is something better out there than the standard. And the thing is too, if you can change for the occasion, if you need to change, and I do that from time to time too, I change, keyboards from time to time back from different ones and want to try different things so hey this is a great way folks no reason why not to go out and get the app and uh, and try this keyboard out it's free then if you want to help them out and use their premium features it's a great way to go typewise.app and again david thank you for uh, coming on the show today and and sharing what typewise is doing if they want to reach out to you uh, what's the best way to do that on the website or yeah, just drop us an email to info at typewise.app and uh, we reply to every inquiry. Awesome. Thank you so much, David, right. for coming. Good care. luck with the app. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that interview. And if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.